Hello friends, you're watching Android Tech Solutions and today in this video I'm show you how you can set up a WordPress site on an Nginx web server. So first I'm going to show you how you can set up a LAMP server which stands for Linux, Nginx, uh, MySQL and PHP and after that I'll show you how you can install WordPress on that. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, so please subscribe to my, uh, my YouTube channel for such more amazing videos. So now let's get started. So in this video, I am I'm using Ubuntu 20. Okay, so this method will work with uh, older versions of Ubuntu also, like Ubuntu 18, Ubuntu 19. Okay, so I'm using Ubuntu 20. So the first command you have to run is sudo apt update y. Okay. After that, we will be installing Nginx. So we'll run this command sudo apt install Nginx. Okay, so now Nginx is installed. Just to verify it, we'll just uh, restart, the, we'll start the service. So sudo systemctl start nginx to start the service of nginx. And we'll check the status to check if it is running or not. So yeah, it is running. And to verify that nginx is working fine, so we'll try to access it uh, uh, through our web browser. So for that you will be needing your server IP address. So you, you can run this command IP space A and you will be getting an IP address. I'll just copy this. And if you are seeing this page, so it means you have successfully installed Nginx and an Nginx is working fine. So we have installed Nginx. Now we'll go with the second thing, which is the database server. So we'll install MySQL. So sudo apt install MySQL server and we'll install MySQL client. Two packages we need to install. MySQL server is basically for setting up the database server and MySQL client is for connecting to the database. So we are going to connect to the database to create a database for WordPress. So that's why we are installing the MySQL client. Okay, MySQL has been installed successfully. Now we'll start the service of MySQL. So we'll run this command sudo systemctl start MySQL. And then we'll check the status of the service just to make sure it is running. Yeah, so it is running. And after that, we'll enable the service of MySQL. And the same thing we'll do for Nginx service. Okay, so what does enable does? It will enable the service. It will start the service at the next reboot. Okay, if we'll not enable the service, when we'll reboot the server, the service will not be running. So this, if we run this command, sudo systemctl enable nginx, or the service name, it will be up and running after a after we reboot the server. Okay, now as the uh, service is running of MySQL, now we will configure the database. So to do the initial configuration, we'll run this command sudo mysql secure installation. So we'll run this command sudo mysql underscore secure underscore installation. And then first it is asking us to set a password. So we'll press here yes. And here we'll set a strong password. We'll go with two. And then we'll press yes, why? And then we'll remove the anonymous user. 
which is by default in the database then we'll disallow remote uh, root login because in, term, uh, in terms of security we'll disallow then we'll delete the test database which is created by default and then we'll reload the privileges yeah and we are all set so we have successfully configured the database server now we'll connect to the database server so we'll run this command sudo mysql hyphen u root hyphen u is used to set the username so we'll log in with user root which is the default user in database then hyphen p and here it is asking us the password which we have set at the time of setting up the database server now we are logged into the database server now here we'll create a database so we'll run this query create database wordpress and after that we'll create a user so i'll name the user as wp user you can give any name to the user create user wp user at localhost and then identity identified by and then here we have to set the password password for the user so i'll set this password so it is giving an error that the password doesn't matches the password policy so as we have set the strong password policy so here yeah so as we set the strong password policy so we have to use a strong password which has uh, uppercase lowercase and numbers and special characters okay so our user has been created now we'll grant access to this user to the database the one which we created this one so grant all privileges on wordpress which is the database name to the username which is wp user at localhost okay after that we'll run this command flush privileges and then we'll exit from the database okay so the database configuration is completed in terms of wordpress we have config created a database also we have created a user through which our wordpress website is going to interact with the database now we'll be installing the last part which is the php so here we'll run this command sudo apt install php so in uh, ubuntu 20 by default php is 7.4 so we are going to install php 7.4 you can install any version of php um, but uh, but it must be more than uh, 7 okay i would recommend using 7.2 if you are using older version of ubuntu and if you are using ubuntu 20 then i would recommend uh, going with php 7.4 so here we'll be installing some more extension of php like php gd php mysql okay this uh, extension is basically responsible for connecting php with the database and then also we'll install php fpm Okay, so these packages we have installed so php 7.4 php 7.4 gd php 7.4 hyphen mysql php 7.4 uh, dash zip php 7.4 hyphen uh, fpm and it is also installing some additional packages which are these okay, like php cli common json op cache read line okay so all the packages related to php have been installed successfully so so far we have successfully configured lamp server linux nginx mysql and php
okay now we will download wordpress so i'll go to the official website of wordpress so i'll simply search on google for download wordpress i'll share this link in the description so you can just simply click on the link Yeah, so you have to scroll down and here you will find the uh, button to download WordPress. So here I'll just right click on it and I'll click on copy link address. You have to click on this button. And then using the vget command, we'll just download the file. I'll just paste here the URL which we copied, which is a zip file. And we are downloading it using vget. So if, if in your server vget is not installed, so you can simply install it by running sudo apt install vget. Okay, so the file has been downloaded. Now to unzip this file, we are going to use the unzip command. Okay, so unzip is not installed in the machine. So we will run this command sudo apt install unzip. Okay, after that we'll try to unzip the file okay once we unzip the file it will create one folder called wordpress okay so what we are going to do is so let's say if we go to this folder wordpress and if i do ls so here you can see all the files related to wordpress so what we are going to do is we are going to copy all the files which are present in this directory all these files which are present in the WordPress directory, which are basically the WordPress files, we'll copy it to www HTML, okay, which we use for hosting the websites, okay, which is the document route from where Nginx will access the files, okay. After that, we will change the permission of the files, we'll set it to www hyphen data. Okay, which is a very important thing because if you if you don't change the permission you will not be able to install any theme or plugins or you will not be able to do any kind of customization so you have to run this command to change the permission and after that we will simply restart the service of nginx and now we will go to the browser and we will try to access it but right now we are not able to access it because we haven't done any configuration for WordPress. So on the server, we'll go to this directory, cd etc nginx. And here we'll go to sites enable directory. So etc nginx is the directory where nginx is installed and we'll go to this directory sites enable where uh, we'll have one default configuration of nginx through which this page is basically being displayed so what we are going to do is we are going to copy this file so we'll run this command sudo cp default and we'll rename it to uh, wordpress actually instead of copying we'll just move this file uh, from default to wordpress and now we'll modify this file so i'm going to use the nano text editor so sudo nano wordpress okay so here in the configuration here you can find listen 80 as it uh, as our site uh, is by default going to listen on port 80 and then here let's say if you have a domain and you have pointed that domain in on the server ip so here you will add one configuration which will be server underscore name and your domain name let's say site.example.com okay so here you will be giving that domain but you have to make sure that you have already pointed the domain on the server so i'll just comment this for now and here you can see the root so this is the document root where our code files must be present and we have already copied our wordpress code files to wirewww html then here 
as WordPress is written in PHP. So here we have to set index to index.php. So this is basically uh, when, uh, for web server, which file to open, okay, which file to open by default. So the, we, are, we are setting it to index.php. And server name configuration we have already seen here. Okay, as we, uh, we have already talked about it here. If you have already have a domain, you can uh, domain pointed on the server. So you can give a server name. And here in location, as we are running a WordPress, so uh, a PHP site actually. So here we'll set slash index.php uh, question mark dollar args okay question mark dollar arg so this is basically the configuration which is required to run the wordpress site and here we will uncomment this this section as we have installed php fpm so we are going to use php fpm so I'll come and comment all these things. So only these uh, lines you have to uncomment. This one, this one, and the fast, this one, which is basically the sock file. And then we'll write and quit from this file. Okay, you can also refer the WordPress uh, Nginx official documentation on WordPress. Okay, so this is the official documentation of Nginx on WordPress configuration. So you can also refer to this. I'll give the link in the description for any other customization. But the customization which we are doing is more than enough. Then we'll restart the service of Nginx. So the restart failed just to see why the restart fails actually before restarting the service after making any configuration changes before re uh, restarting the service we should run this command sudo nginx hyphen t what this command does it basically checks the syntax in the file okay so here it is giving uh, that there is an error which is arg and in the wordpress file we added one over here arg so we, yeah, so it will be ARGS, args. And now it is showing syntax is okay and test is successful. And we'll restart the service. And now we'll try to access it. And now once we hit refresh, so it has redirected us to the WordPress configuration page. So here we'll click on continue. And here we'll click on let's go. And here we have to provide our database information. So we created a database called WordPress and the username was WP user and the password. And database is running on localhost and then table prefix will keep it as default and then we'll click on submit and we are all set to go then we'll click on run the installation and here we have to give the site title then the username to log into the backend and then the password so we'll keep this password which is a strong password strong random password then email address and then here we'll click on install WordPress okay WordPress has been installed successfully so we can simply click on login instead of login I'll just uh, open this site open this IP and here you can see that default theme which is installed on WordPress and you can log also log into your backend to customize your site. You can install plugins, themes. So thank you guys for watching this video. Do like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more amazing tutorials.